Hey, welcome or welcome back to Through Nikki's Lens. I am Nikki and I have another video here for you today. Have you been waiting for a pretty long while to get your applications processed by IRCC? Since I'm on an express entry series, I want to talk to you specifically about a permanent resident application that you might have in process and you have been waiting for a long time now and especially in instances where the processing time has been far exceeded and you have not gotten any updates from IRCC in relation to your application. Your application might also be stuck in a particular phase for a pretty long time and you're trying to figure out what else can you do because you're making phone calls to IRCC, you probably can't get any information on your application. You're also making checks in your GC key account or any um, other portal that you may choose to use. Say for example, the PR portal, once your application has reached a particular step and you can see your updates there, but you have not seen any progress in a while. Here's one thing that I learned that you could potentially do that may help to move along your application if you take the step. So in addition to following up uh, by making a phone call to IRCC, you may utilize the medium of your member of parliament in whatever city that you live they're able to communicate on your behalf to IRCC to get an update on your application. So someone I know told me of uh, utilizing this service or this option. She applied on paper for a particular temporary resident permit and she did not get a response. So she was advised that she could have utilized the office of the member of parliament in her area and to see if that could speed the process along and it did in fact work for her so what she mentioned that she did was to contact the the office of the member of parliament in her city provide them with the necessary information including to fill out a form in, in relation to her personal details and any information pertaining to her application and she was able to get an update some time after that as to what was the status of her application and that actually pushed ahead and her application was eventually approved and she received her permit. So as a permanent resident applicant, this is something that you could potentially look up so what I did was to do a Google search and to find out who the member of parliament is in the city that I currently live. That's in British Columbia. I found the person's information and I was able to go on their website and or even their, their Google page actually. And I was able to find reviews of persons in the, the constituency that would have utilized the service. So there were several persons giving reviews, Google reviews, and I think it would be helpful for me to take screenshots of some of those testimonials, some of those reviews of how that member of parliament and their office staff were able to communicate with IRCC on their behalf, get an update on their, their various stages in the process, and they actually got their PR approved. One of the instances was a PR card that was being processed for a while and it took over a year as far as I understood from what I read in the review and the office contacted IRCC on their behalf. They were able to get an update on the PR card and the PR card was sent to this individual within a short period of time. So, Having gotten the information of this process, and I can truly say that I do remember when I was in the process of my PR application, I, I am still a part of some of those Facebook groups and so forth, and persons would have shared in the group that they 
reached out to their member of parliament and they were able to get updates on their applications and processes were actually completed shortly after making a request. On the other hand, there are other reviews of persons indicating that their member of parliament's office was not helpful. So this may be a hit or a miss depending on when you go to the office or when you contact them. If you can get through to them by phone, if you're unable to, I would recommend that you go into the office. Their offices are open to the public and you can go there and inquire as to how they can assist you in the process. So that is just some information that I wanted to share with you. I, as I mentioned, I did know of or heard of the option for checking on your status when it is that it exceeded the processing time in most cases and i also have knowledge of someone that did utilize the service and had a positive experience as well so it might be something that you can look into to get your application going again if it is stuck in a particular phase Another thing that I wanted to address is in relation to the recent changes that have been announced by IRCC pertaining to temporary residents and the potential changes that may be implemented in regards to permanent residency or immigration levels. On the 26th of August, there was an announcement on the 28th of August, which was yesterday, there was another announcement. So you can imagine that these were, I would say impactful announcements in a negative way where persons are beginning to, to wonder even more now what will happen in another few months pertaining to international students, pertaining to temporary residents who are or temporary foreign workers rather who would want to look to become a permanent resident in the future situations like these you may be filled with a lot of anxiety because there are a lot of uncertainties as to what will happen if you would be able to accomplish that canadian dream or that dream to become a permanent resident however i want to use this opportunity to encourage you not to lose hope Yes, the changes are coming. However, this is a sign for you if you're already here in Canada to take extra steps. And I would have mentioned it in previous videos to be very strategic in your approach to your future in Canada. So see what you can do if you're able to go into an, uh, the express entry pool, if you're able to apply for BCPNP as a provincial under the provincial nomination program or any other province that you're located in, go ahead and take the necessary steps that you must to get into a pool. The changes are coming. However, on the flip side, you can also see that there are attempts to send out additional invitations. So a Canadian experience class, a CEC draw was actually done this week and persons would have gotten invitations to apply for PR. So although they're making changes on the, uh, persons would say for um, the worst, they are also making changes for the better, or make, taking steps for the better so persons can move along the various processes and go further to have that opportunity to become a permanent resident as a christian i would encourage if it is that you are a person of faith to pray more to fast more and to extend your faith lift your faith believing that the lord can take you through i have a testimony i am sure you have a testimony as well as to how you got here and how faithful the lord was to get you this far and i'm encouraging you to not let your hope um, waver at this time but to stand steadfast believing that the lord will take you through and he said in his word that he will never leave you nor forsake you and his plans for you are to prosper you and to not to harm you but to, for you to have a hope and a future and that hope and future is in christ so if you believe in the lord take heart do not get discouraged 
and I wish you all the very best in all your endeavors. I want to thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you haven't already done so, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with someone else so that they can have information as to how they can go ahead and get additional assistance in checking the status of their application. Comment. Let us talk in the comment section about the various changes and how those changes will impact you, how you feel they are impacting you already, and potentially where you see yourself in another few months and so forth. I want to thank you so much for making it through Nikki's Lens and I'll see you in my next video.